Hey guys, Kevin Getz here with another free YouTube lesson. So I was thinking about what the most common question I'm asked is, and the answer actually came to me very easily. They ask this like their lives themselves depend on the answer, and the question they ask is, How do I learn to sweep pick? And you know, I tell them, it's, it's just like, you know, you gotta start off by playing kinda cleanly, and you gotta be sure you're not being sloppy. Practice, and you just kinda learn to do it. It's not that big a deal. But they're like, no, you don't understand. I can't sweep pick, and I have to know how. You know what? Fine. Since I'm such a damn nice person, I'll change my approach. I will show you a secret. So I know we all want to learn sweep picking, but before we can learn sweep picking, we gotta know what sweep picking is. Sweep picking is a technique on the guitar that is used to play arpeggios. What's an arpeggio? An arpeggio is a chord, but you're playing the notes of the chord one at a time instead of all at the same time. So an A minor arpeggio is just an A minor chord, but you play the notes one right after the other. Okay, it's called sweep picking because you're sweeping through all the strings. It's it's one long downstroke and one long upstroke instead of pick 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 pick. You just one. Too. But I'm not here to talk the theory of sweet picking. I promised you guys a secret that'll make you really good at sweet picking and not struggle with it anymore. So we're gonna talk about that next. So when people start trying to teach you how to sweet pick, right? They usually pay so much attention to the right hand. It's make sure it feels like one smooth pick down, one smooth pick up, and that's that's like all they tell you on the subject for a while, right? They tell you to get really used to that feeling of. And you know, if you've got a good teacher, he might mention something like mess around with the angle of your pick, whether flatter to the string or more at that sharper angle, and decide what feels more comfortable for you. That's a good thing to mention. But what none of these people talk about, aside from a cursory make sure you're muting the strings, is actually muting the strings. What I want you to focus on, and what's really going to help you, is to be painfully aware don't even concentrate on your pick on your right hand. And don't even focus on what your fingers are doing on your left hand. Know the shape, sure, but what you're going to focus on is the feeling of the heel of your hand, your wrist bone, maybe your thumb bone, depending on certain shapes that you might play. And on your left hand, you want to focus on your index finger. And the reason we want to focus on those is because that's what's going to prevent this sound. And that's where you bad and you should feel bad and you got to go back and play slow with the metronome. Everybody tells you to do that. But again, remember, that's not what we're focused on. So in order to get the maximum benefit out of your practice, you need to stop thinking in terms of string numbers and shapes. This is not a three string shape. I mean, yeah, it is, but I see it as a D minor arpeggio played on the top three strings. And the way to figure out the theory of sweeping and, and how to know what arpeggios you're playing and what works in the given key and all that garbage <laughs> that you're not even going to think about once you know it Take your three string shape, because that's usually what I recommend that people start with to get used to the movements, and find the highest note on your E string. So that one that your little finger is going to be playing. That exact same fret on the A string is the root of your arpeggio. And for those of you who've seen people sweep like this, where they start five frets down and do a hammer on, That's the same thing as what I'm doing with this little bar on the uh, pinky finger. It's a much more economic movement than... Yeah. So really, all it is, all that you have to do to get good at sweeping nice and fast is you learn your arpeggios, which I'll provide a nice handy little diagram at the end so you can understand how these shapes all go together. And you just play them focusing on the muting, because... 
I'm actually going to try to mess up for a second here, and I'm honestly not convinced I can. Um, as long as you keep... Whoops, wrong notes. It's hard to do this and talk at the same time. See, yeah, I, I managed to squeak out a couple mistakes there, but it's really hard to screw up if you keep your hand muting the strings behind you, so like that, and keep your index finger muting those ones. Really focus on, on getting them both syncing up where you've got both your muting forces moving in tandem. And then once you've got that down, you can play as fast as you want, you won't mess up. Uh, yeah, and that's my secret, is just focus on your muting before you focus on your picking and before you focus on the arpeggio shapes on your left hand. Now, I've, I've heard some people recommend that you focus on the left hand so much that you can do this. Uh, I see that as a huge waste of time, because you're never going to do that unless it's a gimmick. You're always going to be picking, and that's what's always going to cause you your problems, as long as you can mute, whatever mistakes you might make aren't going to show up anyway. Congratulations, you now understand how to sweep pick and not mess up. And I know it sounds ridiculous, and I know you might feel cheated right now, but just try it. Give yourself maybe a... Uh two weeks to a month of doing this every day, being especially conscious of your muting, you'll see. The results really speak for themselves. Also, take a look at the description. I've attached a Tux Guitar file which outlines all the basic sweep picking shapes, and it'll show you basically everything I was going on about if you don't understand the theory yet. That's it for now. If there's anything you guys would like to hear more about, leave a note in the comments. Uh, if you want to help me out in any way, like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel if you want to get some updates. I currently upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it was helpful, and until next time, see ya!